I prove Commander Morrow the fool. I told you, you can't stop the Dark Brotherhood. Never could. Come now, don't be shy. You haven't come this far just to stand there gawking. But of course, you and I have a date with destiny, but so it is with assassins and emperors, hmm? Yes, I must die, and you must deliver the blow. It is simply the way it is. But I wonder, would you suffer an old man a few more words before the deed is done? Well, I thank you for your courtesy. You will kill me, and I've accepted that fate, but regardless of your path through life, I sense in you a certain ambition. So, I ask of you a favor. <laughs> An old man's dying wish. While there are many who would see me dead, there is one who set the machine in motion. This person, whomever he or she may be, must be punished for their treachery. Once you've been rewarded for my assassination, I want you to kill the very person who ordered it. Would you do me this kindness? Thank you. Now, on to the business at hand, I suppose. Hmm? Well, I won't fight you, so we may as well get this over with. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold. Huh? Don't take this the wrong way, but you look a little sickly. Ha-ha! <laughs> You're back! I know, I know! I received the news not moments ago! Ha-ha! <laughs> this is glorious! My friend, you may not realize it, but you have served the Empire, indeed all of Tamriel, in ways you cannot possibly imagine. Ah, but you care little for politics, am I right? You want money, and money you shall have. Your payment waits for you at a dead drop. It is inside an urn, in the very chamber where we first met, in Volenrood. Now please, go. Collect your money, and let us never look upon one another again. Our business, thank the gods, is concluded. Your payment awaits. And don't worry, I'm not stupid enough to betray you. And what might that be? Oh, you assassins in your riddles. It really does get very annoying, you know. Now, if you'll excuse me. What is this? But we had do you know deal. what I love to do when I have a little too much spare gold? <laughs> Find a beggar and pay them to harass people. They are so desperate for money that they will do almost anything. I'll have you. It's very entertaining to watch. I have the problem solved. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. If it's a... Sure. What can I do for you? Certainly. It's a fine tune and a good request. Sadia, wake up, dear. Uh, yes. 
Yes, Mom. Rodewan's wings, they did darken the sky. His raw fury's fire, and his scales sharpened sides. Men ran Sadia, and they cowered, and they yes, fought Mom. and they died. They burned and they bled as they issued You want a drink? Now please, Greetings, no more Born. questions. You don't know the trouble I've had finding you. Got a letter here for you. Special delivery. And if what is it? Wind winds, man is gone from this world. Lost <laughs> Too long, Dragonborn. Too long. I'd say by a whisker, four years. But then came the tongues on that terrible For your eyes only, straight from Bruma. Don't suppose you've heard what's been going on in Cyrodiil these last couple of years? Not heard from young Rigmore then. Not this one. Although I do know Rigmore did try to write. Yeah, well, the letters never got returned. So it's worth checking out if they're buried at the border post somewhere. You'll have to go there anyway to acquire the pass from the official. <laughs> That's why they sent me. You'd better read this. Then eternity's done, for his story is over, and the dragons are gone. What is it? What is it? Dragonborn, if you are reading this, then we have at last managed to find you. You must have heard of the recent events in Cyrodiil. And although some stability has returned, freedom has not. We must speak in private, and certain names have been omitted in this correspondence. But I am sure you know to whom I am referring. She did try to write you, but you could not be located and gave up on ever seeing you again. I don't think she ever got over losing you. But she is fine and well and has moved on. You know her. Never one to sit still. Always looking for trouble if it doesn't find her first. And trouble has found her. Of course she just waves it off, talks tough. And I do realize you have moved on with your life. But I have no choice but to contact you for help. We fear she is in grave danger, Dragonborn. Please come to visit us at our residence so we can talk further. Show the border guards the official pass. Sigan of Bruma. What is it? These days, with the border locked down, it's near impossible to get anything through. You must get the official border pass to enter Cyrodiil. If anyone tells you otherwise, or offers a way over for coin, be wary of them. Very wary. That's if you decide to respond, of course. Must be like a blast from the past, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, well, <clears throat> all will be revealed, Dragonborn. All will be revealed. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Foreboding? I'm sure it's nothing you can't handle. Must be important, seeing as you ain't had no contact with anyone from back then in a foo. Just keep your weapon in your pocket and try not to whip it out. You'll be fine. Cyrodiil ain't like here. They's all civilised. Got a big thing about it, apparently. But something ain't right. I could feel it in me water light. There was nothing civilised about what I saw crossing the border. 
Just you make sure that you keep a cool head. You'll see. What is it? Oh, bit of this, bit of that. Still living at the old farmhouse on the lake. I tried renting one of the rooms to make a bit of coin, but they don't stay long. I don't know why. As it happens, I'm going on a kind of pilgrimage to Winterhold, to the shrine of my mistress, Azura. There's a pretty young thing there as took a bit of a shine to me. A run here, her name is. So I'll be taking my leave and seeing as how far I can get my feet under the table with Miss Enith and try warming her up a bit. With a bit of luck, I'm hoping to coax her down from the mountain and into me little old farm. Likewise, Dragonborn. Likewise. It's good to see you too again, my friend. Now then, my part in this is done, and I have a date with destiny. So until next time, Dragonborn. Here's another one. What a beauty. Looking across the border, friend. The price is 100 gold. No need for that. Could take hours. A few coin and you'll be over the border in no time. Nah, I'm just trying to do you a favor, friend. Sarmenti, my dear, please, I'm trying my best. Hopefully I can get a new appointment somewhere else in the Empire. Well, your best is not enough. We have been stuck out here for nearly two years. How much longer do I have to put with those beasts outside? Everything is going to be just fine. The way they look at me, it's only a matter of time. What are you going to do about it? I'm in fear for my life. Oh, Sarmenti. Oh, who's this? Are you in need of some assistance? Yes? Ah, you must be... Uh, one moment. Yes, Captain Grimbald of the Bruma Garrison informed us you would probably be coming. No one gets into Cyrodo without an official pass. This one is signed by the House of Bruma. Be sure to show it to the new Imperial Guards when asked. What is it? Yes? Have you not heard? A lot of changes have recently occurred in Cyrodiil. The Emperor is very serious on immigration control and is quite ruthless in his implementation of zero tolerance. To not be in possession of an official document can be, how shall we say, fatal? Those guards are nothing more than criminal scum and people traffickers. They would wave you through for coin, knowing how it would end, like it has for so many others. Those poor souls. 
Let's just say I have seen them letting whole families through the gates, men, women, children, all hoping for a new life, only to end up bloody frozen rags in the snow. It's quite sad. They are actually meant to be here to turn away the economic migrants and protect me as a diplomatic service. The new Imperial border guards are, shall we say, more robust in their duties, hence the pass. Your friends had good cause to make sure you adhere to the official channels. Cyrodiil is a civilized province. Acts of aggression against any citizen are met with extreme prejudice. In some cases, entire families can be held responsible by the actions of one. As you now officially represent the House of Bruma, need I go on? Of course, you can defend yourself, and people do carry weapons in case of the odd renegade or wild animal. But you'll find those inconveniences virtually eradicated apart from the border regions, so please act accordingly to the law. Before you leave, do you require any further assistance? Do you know the name of the sender? Uh, one moment. Uh, hmm. Aha! Here's one. Dated mid-2002, almost four years ago. Let me check to see if there's any more in the back room. Hey, Dragonborn. It's so weird being back in Bruma again. I was trying to figure out how long it had been since... Well since me and mom were taken from our home. Must be about five years, but it seems like a, a lifetime. Things are totally so different now, but Bruma is just how I remembered it. Life within the keep is taking a bit getting used to. The Great Hall is really intimidating and freaks me out, but I'm trying so hard to meet the demands expected of me. As a countess? <laughs> yeah, right. Did you know Malisam is here? He's such a total ass. It's my duty to protect the descendants of blah 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 and is always totally in my face. At least Carice has my back. We've become quite close lately and I don't know what I would do without her. She's so cool. There's this old guy here called Friathoff, a scholar. He used to tutor the late Countess's daughter and now tutors me. Don't laugh on etiquette and how to be more ladylike, <laughs> whatever. Like Countess Rigmore of Bruma. I still think of you and miss you so much. I know I was way too clingy. I hope that isn't why you haven't come to see me already. I didn't mean those things I said and I hope you don't hold that against me and come visit me soon. I would really like that. Have to go now. They're calling me to the hall to sort out some dog and chicken thing. A local dispute as is part of my duties. Don't leave it too long, Dragonborn. It's been too long already. Love always, Rigmore. Hey, Dragonborn. It's so weird being back in Bruma again. I was trying to figure out how long it had been since, well, since me and mom were taken from our home. Hmm. Here we it go. Must be about five years, but it seems like a, a lifetime. Things are totally. There's just one now. more dated Hopefully early two o three. I remembered it. Life within the keep is taking a bit getting used to. The great. Dear Dragonbore, thanks for blanking my last letter. If you can't be bothered to come down to see me, then at least write back. How hard is that? You are so not going to believe this, but the crap has totally hit the fan over here in Cyrodiil. Some badass bandit king has taken the citadel, and I've been advised by Friathoth and Malisam to declare Bruma a free city. They totally burned and trashed Leowin, and the nobles are all bummed out, calling for a peace treaty as I write. 
If you try to come over the border, be careful. The whole of Cyrodiil is pretty much in a state of anarchy. Everyone's running around like headless chickens. It's actually quite invigorating, and I'm loving it. Malasam had to sit down due to heart palpitations. He was like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I totally cried laughing. Oh, poor Kiris. Although I would feel a lot safer if you were around, how's the dragon thing going? We don't get much news out here, but rumor is you saved the world again, right? Dragonborn, when are you going to come and save me? You said you were going to come get me. Are you letting me go? I'll understand if that's what you want, but you need to let me know. I'm in a kind of limbo with nowhere to turn. If I don't hear from you after you get this letter, I'll know where I stand, but I want you to know I will never forget you, and I will always love you. Rigmore. Yes? Uh, there's been a lot of changes, especially over these last few years. We received a lot of undelivered correspondence dating back years when we set up this border post. You must remember the last letter was sent during a most unsettling time. The good news is Cyrodiil is experiencing growth and stability since the new administration. More so after the expulsion of the Thalmor and the possible reinstation of the Nine throughout the Empire. I am sure your stay will be most pleasant and enlightening. And there's one more thing. This was left for you, too. Well met. Are you ready to continue? Ahem. I think I've forgotten something out back. Would you excuse me for a moment? Well, well, well. Look who's back. No pass, huh? Well, for you, the price has just doubled to 200 gold. <laughs> yeah? Are you making some kind of joke? <laughs> You got some balls talking to us like that, friend. My advice to you is to turn around and walk back the way you came. After all, a man's gotta make a living. Well, he ain't moving, fellas. Some folks don't want to listen to good advice. Need something? Well, cry me a river. Yeah, Here we go. Ha! Ah, I think you're bleeding. What is it? So many raids these days from Red Guard Nomad Raiders. I'll make an official report and have this mess cleaned up. Please follow me. Show the pass to the new Imperial Guards on the Cyrodiil side of the border. Keep it safe. You'll need it to travel freely between the provinces. Uh, one more thing. Whatever you see down there on the border, please remain calm and remember what I said about who you represent now. Ah, enjoy your stay.
The border's closed. What business do you have here? Let me see. Okay, all seems in order. But, I should warn you to keep your weapon sheathed, and any acts of violence will be met with the full force of the law. You may, of course, defend yourself if you are attacked, but those are the rules. Open the gates. What do you need? Move along quickly. There's nothing here that concerns you. I'll kill you, you don't have a 